The New York State Department of Environmental Conservation released the Long Island Pesticide Pollution Prevention Strategy in 2014 with the goal of protecting Long Island's groundwater and aquifers from pesticide-related impacts while continuing to achieve the pest management needs of our agricultural, residential, commercial, industrial, and institutional sectors. Focusing on reducing pesticides that are most commonly found in the groundwater with best management practices has made great improvements to Long Island water quality in recent years. We continue to work with the Nassau and Suffolk County Departments of Health to test groundwater wells and collaborate with organizations such as Cornell Cooperative Extension and the Peconic Estuary Program. The mission of the Cornell Cooperative Extension's Agricultural Stewardship Program is to work with the horticulture and agricultural producers within Suffolk County to reduce nutrient and pesticide applications on farmlands while maintaining a viable and productive agricultural economy out here. At farmland on the east end of Long Island, it can be very difficult to manage at certain times because of our sandy soils where you have nutrients and pesticides leaching through the soils and we have a sole source aquifer under the island so it's very susceptible to contamination by certain agricultural practices. So as part of the agricultural stewardship program and working with producers, we try and get them to adopt agricultural best management practices or BMPs. Uh, adoption and implementation of certain practices is done largely through on-farm demonstration projects and working with our agricultural and environmental partners across the county. These include the DEC, Soil and Water Conservation District, NRCS, Peconic Estuary Program, the Peconic Land Trust, and various other organizations. Because of our proximity to water bodies as well, we are constantly trying to encourage agriculture producers to adopt best management practices to reduce pesticide applications and prevent their leaching and runoff into ground and surface waters. Another program that we've been involved with in the past and that a lot of farmers utilize is these weather stations up here that allow farmers to get an idea of the temperature, relative humidity, and they know when pests are going to be out. And these can guide pesticide applications so they're not applying when a certain pest isn't out there and just broadcast spraying pesticides that won't actually target any pest at that time. So these weather stations have been very valuable to agriculture producers on Long Island to help in the reduction of pesticide applications. You know, in the old days, we used to use DDT and a lot of organophosphates and a lot of the really, the really tough chemicals that, that have, are now largely off the market. And over the years, we've tried to economize and do a, a minimal job of spraying. Not just spraying for everything, a broad brush type, but specifically the narrow things that will get a particular insect at a particular time. And you got to know when to do it. In the old days, we didn't do that. We would just spray more or less by the calendar. And it's important to know those dates. To help us do that, there is a scouting system that Cornell Cooperative Extension uses, and we have enrolled in that. And every Monday morning, their scout comes out here and looks through a series of traps on a farm and looks to see if there are any insects of a particular species that we should be spraying for. We get a report every Monday morning, and that's the report that basically guides the particular spray applications that we're going to do that week if we need to. The soil is rather sandy here, so if there were applications that go down into the ground, there is the, th the possibility of some of that going out into, into, the, into the creek here. We're very conscious and careful about it because this is a creek that's open to shellfish fishing and other kinds of fishing, and we want it to remain pure and clean. Weather station is really important for the fungus control. It's that kind of information that helps us to minimize the numbers of spray applications. And the weather station we have transmits into our computer in the office on an hour-by-hour -hour basis what those conditions are. It's a very important tool in controlling what we spray. Homeowners can also assist with the implementation of the Long Island strategy and reduce pesticide use through the principles of integrated pest management and other sustainable yard care techniques. There are many alternatives to pesticide use, but if you must use a pesticide, read the label carefully to ensure it's intended for use on the type of plant you wish to protect or to control the type of pest you've identified. 
every pesticide user is legally bound to follow label directions. It is important to thoroughly read a pesticide label before purchase, before each use, and prior to storage or disposal.